Millions of people visit Myrtle Beach each year, and most of them don't know about the area and didn't watch my top recommended guide to Myrtle Beach. This much watched video is for anyone visiting the Grand Strand, because I'm going to share with you the best places to stay, where to eat, the must-see attractions, and so much more. And then, near the end of the video, I'm going to share with you some very valuable tips on how you can save some money on your trip to Myrtle Beach. Starting things off, I hope you're hungry, because here are 5 must-visit Myrtle Beach restaurants. Captain Benjamin's Calabash Seafood Buffet. Do yourself a favor and go eat here the next time you're in Myrtle Beach. Whether you're a fan of buffets or not, you honestly have to be impressed with out of close to 18,000 reviews on Google, Captain Benjamin's offers a 4.0 star rating. Sea Captain's House If you enjoy Bang Bang Shrimp, then you need to visit Sea Captain's House during your next visit to Myrtle Beach. And be sure to ask to sit on the back porch area of the restaurant for the best views of the ocean. 8th Avenue Tiki Bar and Grill If you're around the famous Myrtle Beach Boardwalk and want somewhere to eat or drink, then here's a spot for you to consider. The 8th Avenue Tiki Bar is a fun place to go that also offers some delicious food. Mozzarella's You're going to love the New York slash New Jersey boardwalk style 18 inch thin crust pizza that mozzarella offers. Seriously, this pizza is going to be some of the best you've ever had. Not to mention, but this small little restaurant offers a bunch of other great items as well. And finally, J. Mike's Flavor Station. There's a reason why J. Mike's offers a 4.8 star ranking out of 5 stars on Google. It's that good. From the mouth-watering breakfast to the best tacos around, J. Mike's is legit. But the mac and cheese patty melt is by far my most recommended item on their menu. And all I have to say is, trust me with that one. My name is Brandon. If you're finding this video to be helpful in any way, then I really hope you consider clicking the like button. That really is the best way you can help the channel, and that's going to help get this video in front of others who need to know this information. Where's the best nightlife? It's hard to go wrong with every bar and club that the Myrtle Beach Boardwalk offers. Not only are you going to find a nice variety, it helps that everything is close by in case you want to check out other venues. When is the best time to visit Myrtle Beach? Since we're talking about a beach town, the warmer months would be ideal. But keep in mind, June through August are the busiest months to visit. So I recommend checking out rates for May and September. Now please keep in mind that September is during prime hurricane season, so there's always the risk. But the beautiful thing about Myrtle Beach is no matter the time of the year, you're going to find plenty of things to see and do, so it really is most likely based off of what you want to do while you're in the Myrtle Beach area. And that's going to lead you to when you should visit. The top recommended beaches. There are miles and miles of beaches to choose from in the area. But if you're wondering which ones are the best and the cleanest, then you need to visit the public beach that is located at the end of 10th Street. Also, the Myrtle Beach State Park offers some amazing beaches. If you're okay with driving a little while to find the best beach, then I can't recommend checking out the beaches along Surfside enough. The Surfside Beach area is definitely one of my favorite areas along the entire South Carolina coast. Top Recommended Family Attractions The Grand Strand offers countless activities and attractions for kids of all ages. After visiting Myrtle Beach every year with our kids, here are my top 5 Myrtle Beach Attraction Recommendations. Alligator Adventure Since there really is no zoo nearby, this is the next best thing. While the attraction focuses on alligators, you're going to find plenty of other animals to explore in this awesome attraction. Family Kingdom Amusement Park, a great classic amusement park that offers three roller coasters, thrill rides, a great log flume, and plenty of other great family and kid rides. But the main highlight here would have to be the park's wooden coaster Swamp Box. This roller coaster is a must ride when you come to town. Plus, you get some great views of the ocean as you crest over the ride's lift hill. Pirate's Voyage Dinner and Show not only will you enjoy a delicious dinner that includes some of the best rotisserie chicken you'll ever try, you'll get to embark on a 90-minute show that is filled with adventure, pirates, cannons, sea lions, and more. 
Ripley's Aquarium of Myrtle Beach. I was really impressed when I visited this aquarium. There was a lot of different things for our family to see and explore, which makes this the perfect rainy day activity and a great way to cool off during those hot summer days. And lastly, the Broadway Grand Prix. If you're looking to mix in some adrenaline while you're on vacation, then this attraction has your name written all over it because you're going to find the best go-kart tracks in the whole entire Myrtle Beach area. And one thing great about this place is there's like four or five different tracks to choose from. The top recommended water parks in Myrtle Beach. And that's going to go to Myrtle Waves Water Park, which is located near Broadway at the beach. So you're going to find slides, wave pools, lazy rivers, and more. And if you're competitive like me, then here are the top recommended mini golf courses. Treasure Island Mini Golf, a very well-maintained course for anyone who loves a good game of mini golf. And I highly recommend playing at nighttime versus the daytime because there's mini golf during the day and then there's mini golf at night. And it's just so much better in my opinion. Captain Hook's Adventure Golf. This awesome mini golf course boasts a cute Peter Pan theme that is fun and highly recommended for all ages. Shipwreck Island Adventure Golf. You're going to find two beautiful, well-maintained golf courses that are a must-play while you're in the area. All I ask is just watch out for the giant shark. Top recommended public golf courses. The TPC Myrtle Beach. This challenging golf course offers some of the best holes on the entire Grand Strand. If you're looking for a very unique course, then try the World Tour Golf Links, because this course offers 18 different holes from some of the most famous golf courses in the entire world. And if you'd like more options, then you have to check out Barefoot Resort and Golf, because you're going to find four beautiful golf courses that feature challenging holes and very well-kept grounds. Be sure to check out their website for specials before you book your tea time. If you're looking to get out onto the water while you're in Myrtle Beach, then here are my top recommended water activities. Blackbeard's Pirate Cruise. If you want the whole family to get out on the water, then this experience is a must. This interactive experience really is something that your kids will not soon forget, neither will you, because you're going to love the water cannon battle. If you're looking to go fishing, then I highly recommend Myrtle Beach Sports Fishing. The captains are great and really do know where the best fish are off the coast of Myrtle Beach. Not only is this great for families, friends, and couples, it's also great to get some sun while you're out in the water. Myrtle Beach Paddleboard and Kayak Adventures if you feel like being a little more adventurous, then give kayaking a try. This is not only a great workout, but you get to experience the water like never before. And if you want to go to the extreme, then you have to try stand-up paddleboarding. Now, when you visit Myrtle Beach, you obviously have to stay somewhere, unless you're making a day trip out of it. So here are the top recommended places to stay. And for the record, I do not recommend trying to sleep on the beach because trust me, you're going to find sand the next morning in places that you never thought were possible. Starting off the list is Marriott's Ocean Watch Villas at Grand Dunes. This beautiful resort offers excellent clean beaches, immaculate pools, and amenities. While located just north of the Strip, you're going to love staying at this wonderful place. Hampton Inn Suites Myrtle Beach Oceanfront. Located right in the center of all the action is this high-rise hotel. If you have kids, this is the perfect place for you to stay because you're going to find two lazy rivers, seven different pools, and a water kids play area. Not to mention, but this hotel is also pet friendly. Now, one of the newer resorts, the Hilton Grand Vacations Club Ocean Enclave Myrtle Beach, which is located just two blocks away from the famous Myrtle Beach Boardwalk you're going to experience one of the nicest hotels along the Grand Strand. When you stay at this gorgeous hotel, be sure to call ahead and reserve a room that is higher up so you get to experience all the great views of the beach and the Atlantic Ocean down below. Sandy Beach Resort. You're going to really love staying at this beautiful resort because you can't beat the quality that it offers and they're very nice and clean rooms. And one thing great about this place is that they offer one, two, and three bedroom options in case you're traveling in a larger group or a family. 
Myrtle Beach KOA. If you have an RV, then you can't beat this location of this excellent clean campground because you're literally a two minute drive to the beach. If you don't have an RV, then I recommend checking out their cute cabins to rent as well. We just did that during our last visit and our family loved it and they were really, really clean. Here are some other must-do Myrtle Beach experiences that you need to know about. Warbird Park. This park, which is located next to the Myrtle Beach Airport, is really cool because you get to walk under and around old military jets and aircrafts that were used during the war. The Crazy Mason. Love milkshakes? Do you love ice cream? Of course you do. So that means there is no reason why you do not stop in at the Crazy Mason to indulge in a very special treat that will instantly become the greatest and sweetest thing you've ever tasted. Seriously, this place is a must visit. I also recommend paying the small fee and experience any pier along Myrtle Beach because you really get some great views of the shoreline as well as the beach and not to mention, but keep your eyes out for dolphin sightings. And this obviously makes for the perfect photo moment for you and your family. Myrtle Beach with dogs. Our dog Minion is always a part of our family whenever we travel, especially to Myrtle Beach since the area offers a lot of great places to stay and restaurants that are pet friendly. Also, you can bring your dog on the beach anytime after Labor Day through April 30th. Then, during the busier months, they're allowed to enjoy the beach before 10 a.m. and after 5 p.m. If you're looking to explore other areas just outside of Myrtle Beach, then I highly recommend checking out North Myrtle Beach because this area has a totally different vibe than Myrtle does and it's worth checking out. Also, Surfside Beach. If you're looking to rent a vacation home, then I recommend Surfside. This area is filled with great restaurants, beaches, and plenty of things to do. And if you love good restaurants, then you have to check out Myrtle's Inlet. Hands down, one of the best and most unique areas along the Grand Strand. Now when you visit Myrtle Beach, chances are you're going to want to go shopping. And here are the best places to do that. Besides the numerous outlet malls, everyone visiting Myrtle Beach needs to check out Broadway at the beach. Because you're going to find tons of shopping, attractions, and restaurants located at this must-see venue. And if you're looking for something different to do on Myrtle Beach, then go see a Pelicans game. This single A team is a ton of fun to watch and they play in one of the nicer stadiums in the league. And now it's the time that you've been waiting for. How to save money during your trip to Myrtle Beach. If you have a tight budget, that's not a problem. I recommend you staying at a hotel along the strip and just enjoy the days at the beach and the pools that the hotel offers. After all, those are both free and that's going to save you a lot of money on doing other attractions. Because there are plenty of good hotels to choose from that will not break your bank that are located along the main strip. As far as food goes, I would head to the grocery store as soon as you arrive and grab some bread and deli. This way, you can make lunches in your room and then grab food out for dinner. And the last great way to save some money while you're visiting Myrtle Beach is don't plan your trip during peak season because that's going to be even more expensive. Also, try to book during the weekdays opposed to the weekends because when you stay on the weekends, it's always going to be more expensive. So that wraps up my Myrtle Beach vacation guide. And I want to know is when was the last visit you had to Myrtle Beach? And when is your next trip planned to visit the Grand Strand? Be sure to let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today and think positive.